Having voice chat in V Rising helps with the immersion and world building of a server. In today's video, we're going to go over how to set up voice chat on a V Rising server. First, we're going to go to the first link in the description, which is the Unity dashboard, where we're going to either sign in or create an account. Next, we're going to press the plus new button, which is next to the project section on the dashboard. We will then enter a project name. This doesn't really matter. You can name it whatever you'd like and then choose create. After you've created the project, we're going to hit the plus sign next to shortcuts and we're going to search for and select Vivix. That's V I V O X. We will then hit unity and press next. Then these next two steps, we're just going to hit next and finish to skip those tasks. We will then go to the credentials page, which is under the voice and text chat. Once this is open, we're going to log into our Bicyc Toasting Games panel in a new tab, and we're going to choose our V Rising server. Next, we're going to go to the files tab, and we're going to go into the V Rising server underscore data folder, then streaming assets, and last settings. And here, we're going to click the create button and choose create file. We will then enter this data that I've pasted here. I'll have this in the description for you to easily copy and paste. In between the quotation marks for where it says VOIP issuer, we are going to go back to our last tab and go to where it says token issuer. And we're going to copy that, go back to our games panel and paste it within the brackets where it says VOIP issuer. Next for the VOIP secret, we're going to go back to the tab and copy the token key. Then we're going to go back to the Bicep Toasting Games panel and paste that into the quotation marks where it says VOIP secret. Next, for the VOIP Vivix domain, we're going to go to the tab and go into domain and copy domain. Then go back to the games panel and paste it within the quotation marks next to Vivix domain. Next, we're then going to go back to that panel and copy the token issuer and go to the Bicetosting Games panel, and where it says the VOIP API endpoint, after that last slash and before the quotation mark, we're going to paste that there. We're not going to change the user ID or the user password, but you can change the distance, audible distance, and fade intensity if you'd like, depending on what you would like for the server. Once we've changed all this, we're gonna choose save, and we're gonna save the file as server VOIP settings.json. Once we've done so, we can create the file. Once you've done so, you can go back to the home tab. Then you're going to stop the server and then start the server once it's stopped. And once the server is started, voice chat will be enabled, but just make sure in the sound settings that you enable use voice chat on the server. Thanks for watching and check out bisectoasting.com, your ultimate gaming partner.